Belfry, I've reached the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. A penthouse. You went all out on this one, Belfry. Let's not make a habit of this. We don't have access to Bruce's credit cards anymore. I'm in. Time to find some owls. Good. The party's already started. Find a good spot to eavesdrop on the ballroom, somewhere no one can see you. No one can know you're there. There's the ballroom. Looks like the party's in full swing. I paid for five-star service, not to smell plaster all day. We're making some improvements, ma'am. I'll let the hotel manager know that I can see that. You'd better. would they put this here? Again with your stupid theory? You saw the elevator. The hotel doesn't have a 13th floor. Mm. Don't mind me. <laughs> Belfry, I disabled the security systems. Nice. Don't forget, these guards are board members. So watch away. This is not good! I'm outside the ballroom. Heading in now. Well done. Let's see how many owls have come to roost. Record everything you can. We can analyze it later. Required this evening. 
This is formal wear. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? I hear it's haunted. That's what I heard too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. Did you hear about Langstroth's assistant? He deserved to be let go. Just like Kirk, people forget their place. The voice remembers. Still haven't found the voice yet. Is this all they could muster for the great Bruce Wayne? It's embarrassing. When I go, it'll be a spectacle. Fireworks, dancers, ice sculptures, the works. Hard to believe Bruce Wayne is gone. I know. I was hoping to be a state this year. What do you mean you won't see me? I'm the goddamn mayor! I'm afraid his schedule won't permit it. You tell Colonel Kane that I won't be frozen out. My office demands respect. Of course it does, Mayor Sai. I'll relay your message. <laughs> Look at this. Even in death, Wayne tries to outdo us. Let him have his final hurrah. After tonight, it won't be a problem. You're right. His death ought to be a celebration. What do you think this is? Got a few matches. These people are going down. to present our host for the evening. That has to be the voice of the court. He's not even trying to be subtle. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. Ah! 
Made. If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. into a secret elevator. I can't track him. I lost him too. He was between floors when the signal went out. Batgirl, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. Better not try it and risk triggering an alarm. This should take me to the 13th floor. Belfry, I found one of those weird court doors. This must be it. Understood. Tread carefully. watching from inside of Gotham's walls. This is a literal truth as we build our perfect nests below the skins of our perfect city. They actually pressed old court speeches on vinyl. Talk about analog. Belfry, any clue where to go from here? Belfry? Nothing. There must be a jammer in here. What is behind it? What might be trying to sneak up and strike? Looks 
heard the voice called for a meeting. What were they looking at? According to a judge, it could be enough for a conviction. I recognize some of these names. These people are either dead or missing. Langstrom's in here too. This must be a hit list. History of Gotham architecture. The court must have been involved in the construction of these buildings. Bet it has something to do with those dates on the wall. The numbers must represent the years those buildings were built or renovated by the court. City Hall. I'd recognize GCPD Central anywhere. That's the courthouse. Getting closer, these all represent different kinds of power structures in the city. No wonder the court's interested in them. Of course. I should have known it was you. May they know without truly knowing this simple truth. We are in control. Gotham is an engine for progress. A paean to the might of men and money. A utopia. And we alone made it. It's high time we talk. Well, where are you? Go to the painting. So you made it here, all by yourself. You think I'd let you destroy Gotham without a fight? Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You're not the first masked villain to try to sell me that line. The only one hiding behind the mask is you. Miss Gordon. Jacob? Kane? How? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quiet about it. You're not protecting this city. You and your cult are using it as your personal playground. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's 
Madness, you're not serving us. Unlike you, I don't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. I know you killed Langstrom, then his assistant. Is that what you call protection? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce fought for something bigger than himself. You just want power. He never would have allowed this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. Don't compare us, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Crap. Have to get back to the ballroom. Try to keep up. Systems operational. have been called.
It's a massacre! Montoya, it's back, girl. I take it you heard what happened at the hotel. Actually, I was there. Yeah? Then care to tell me who the hell those assassins were? That was the League of Shadows. I'll send you everything we have on them. and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The 
The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the league. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. There's new data on the evidence board. Catherine Kane isn't doing this city any favors. 